this video, we're going to take a look at the stop loss automation tactic on the ad set level. Performance can change quickly. You can have amazing results one day and overspend the next day. Setting up stop loss on your ad sets is a fantastic way to defend your account against unnecessary spending and optimize your performance. The main function of stop loss is to pause unprofitable ad sets. If the ad set has spent more than a certain amount and still hasn't generated a purchase or a lead, the tactic will turn it off for the day. First, select the event you'd like to optimize for, making sure that the event is expected to occur daily. If you choose an event that is too rare, the tactic might not trigger. On the ad set level, you should focus on events that are closer to the purchase or lead event. For e-com, purchases is a great event, but so are initiate checkout or add to carts. The second part of the tactic makes sure that it doesn't pause highly profitable ad sets. The tactic will only fire if the performance is below this amount, therefore making sure that your top performing assets stay active. The values here are the recommended values for your account, but you can always change them here. You can choose static values or use dynamic values, which are a great way to assure that your automation tactics stay relevant as your account changes. This is a daily tactic, so it resets every day at midnight or at whatever time you choose to set up here. Then you can choose which acquisition ad sets the tactic will apply to and auto apply means that it will automatically add new ad sets you launch into the mix. To create automations for retargeting or retention, head into custom automations and you'll be able to do so there. Setting up stop loss on your account will allow you to optimize your ad sets in real time and focus your attention on scaling your brand.